Hello everybody and welcome to the class today. In our previous classes, we have been doing a lot of things. We have done Ageru, Morau, Sashi Ageru and Itadaku. And also last time, we did about Shogatsu. We learnt about this very nice festival in Japan, Oshogatsu, what they eat there, what all things they make, how they use phrases over there in uh, Shogatsu time, what all they say, what is the action. So well today also we will talk a little about Shogatsu. We will also talk about another very interesting and very popular festival of Japan and of course we will do something new today related to Ageru, Sashi Ageru, Itadaku and Murao and something else as well. So well, before I actually start telling you something today, something new, we will do the assignments as I always do. So well, open your assignment sheets and let us see what is there. Well, the first one is match group A with group B and make proper sentences as I have been doing all along with you. The first one is Kuruma no naka ni dare ga imasu ka? So well naka over here can also be removed and kuruma ni dare ga imasu ka can be used. Anata wa shumatsu ni nani o shitai desu ka? Then we have watashi wa kotoshi kazoku to ryoko o Over here to is given. You can use watashi wa kazoku to isho ni ryoko o shimasu. That makes it very clear. You can remove the isho ni and also put the isho ni over there whichever way you feel comfortable. Kaidan no soba ni jitensha ga arimasu. Ni and ga is a pattern and you state something with that. Ginko wa ano takai tatemono desu. Ano over here again is used because, can you tell me why? Well, because the subject is known to the listener and the speaker. Then, anata wa donna shosetsu o yomitai desu ka? Donna, which type of? Rao san wa sengetsu hikkoshi o shimashita because of sengetsu shimashita is used time expression in the past. Tanaka san wa hachiji ni kairi mashita. Hachiji ni kairi mashita. After time, ni particle will be used as we have been doing all along. Kino tomodachi to Ishoni again, you can leave or you can use omoshiroi ega o imashita. Then we have ryoshin wa indo ni imasu. Over here you can see if it was a question, ryoshin wa indo ni imasu ka, then go ryoshin would have been used because it is about someone else's parents. Over here it is ryoshin and a statement. Ryoshin wa indo ni imasu. Thus it is my parents. Now the second one is look at the pictures and use ageru, morau, sashi ageru and itadaku. You have done these. This is in plain form, in dictionary form. Let us see what it is. You can see this picture, this lady, she has received something from someone. It could be her husband. So let us see. Shujin ni omiyage o moratta. Over here, because it is her husband and she is talking, thinking, thus it is shujin. If someone else is to talk about her husband, it has to be 
Goshuji. Then again he is giving something, let us see what he is giving. Well, Tanaka-san is giving his telephone number to Mariko-san. Mariko-san ni denwa bango o ageta. Then we have this gentleman over here. He is receiving something or could be giving something. If we remove this uh, arrow from here, so well, what is it? Sensei ni itadaita, received from sensei because of the arrow, the arrow is pointing towards him and if we remove the arrow, then sensei ni age mashita or sashi age mashita as it should be in case of your teacher. Then we have someone giving something at the post office. This sign over here is for post office. So, what is it? Okasan ni agemasu. This gentleman is thinking, I will give or send this to my okasan, to my mother. So, okasan ni agemasu. Then, what is this? Somebody is getting married and then we have a car over here and let us see what it says. Kanai ni kuruma o ageta. Kanai is wife. So, watashi is not written over here. Kanai ni to my wife. Kuruma o age mashita. I gave. So, I hope you got this age mashita, itadakimashita, moraimashita, sashi age mashita properly, correctly, without any mistake. Now, in this third one we have match words in group A with kanji characters in group B. So, we have these words over here and we have the kanji characters. Let us see what it is. Takai. Shiroi. And you can see shiroi over here is very similar to nichi except for that stroke on top. Sensei. Toki doki. And this character or this symbol signifies or shows that this is what is being repeated over here. The same Hatsuon or the same reading is being repeated. Shogatsu. Yasumi Hidarite Migi Ashi And in the end we have Iri Guchi. Now you will see Iri Guchi is very similar to Hito, but there is a slight difference. You have this stroke here on top. Of course, it is not a stroke as such, but just to separate it or make it a little different from hito, which is a straight line, this bow has been given. Now, this one is fill in the blanks with proper verb forms. Well, let us see what it is. The clue is given over here in English and you are supposed to write it in Japanese. Okasan nani wo tabetai desu ka? Then we have watashi wa sensei ni jisho o morai mashita. Then we have keiki wa oishi kara kodomo ni agetai. Bucho ni wine o agemashita. Ashita kaisha e ikimasen. 
not go because of ashita. Then Rao san wa tomodachi ni shatsu o ageta. Rao san gave to his friend. Kanai ni saifu o moratta received from my wife. So, watashi wa kanai ni saifu o moratta. Jikan nai kara tomodachi ni aimasen. Jikan is time, nai kara is no time, I do not have time. Thus, tomodachi ni aimasen. And ni over here is for aimasen. Verb aimas will always take particle ni. Watashi wa mainichi sentaku o shimasu. Sentaku is washi. Watashi wa ichinichi ni nikai ha o migakimasu. Migakimasu means to brush or to polish. So, kutsu o migakimasu. Ha o migakimasu. Ichi nichi ni nikai. You have done kai. Kai means number of times an activity is performed. So, ichi nichi ni nikai. Twice in a day. Ha o migakimasu. Well, that finishes your your assignments, your shukudai. I hope you all did it properly and correctly. Last time I had also given you a very small shukudai about oshogatsu. We had done shogatsu, we had talked about shogatsu, seen pictures. So, I had asked you to collect some more material on shogatsu. Well, I also collected some again and the phrase that I gave you was ake mashite ome deto gozai mas kotoshi mo mo yoroshiku onegai shi mas well you already know the meaning what this means what this means now over here there is a new word for you the phrase is the same there is a new word shinnen right on top you can see so shin nen shin Nen. Shin nen means, shin means new and nen means year. So, a very, very nice year for you. I congratulate you. I wish you all the best in the coming year. And please, let us continue our association, our friendship in this year as well. And one thing you have to see over here in the picture which is given, you have to Pay attention to where your hands are when you are saying this. It should be straight and not anywhere you want. You have to bow and then you have to say, Shinnen akemashite omedetou gozaimasu. Kotoshi mo yoroshiku onegai shimasu. And then the answer will be the same thing again repeated by the other person. So, well, you should keep that in mind. And all this is for festivity. You can read more over here about Oshogatsu. One interesting thing is that at Shogatsu time, which starts around the 28th of December and continues on till the 4th or the 5th of January, there is a small party which is mentioned over here. It is a Bonenkai party, which is the year ending party, which all Japanese celebrate with friends and family to, to sort of say goodbye to the year which has gone and remember the year 
with friends and family. And welcome the new year on Oshogatsu day. So, there is something about Bonenkai, you can, you can read about it later. And also something very interesting in Japan is, during new year, what you do first has great meaning. For example, when you go to office first time, when you meet people first time, when you smile or enjoy or laugh the first time, see the sunrise on new year day, go to a shrine, all these things are very, very important because that is what you do first time in the new year. And it is a time of relaxation as is given over here, enjoyment with friends and family and basically just enjoying with everyone. So, that is Shogatsu for you. You can look up the net, you can see pictures and read what customs and practices are done, what food is made, what are the special things they do on New Year Day. Now, there is something new over here, this is a new word, toki doki, which means sometimes. There is a small conversation here between A and B, Tanaka san to or A san to B san no kaiwa desu. Watashi wa ikkai yomimasu kara kiite kudasai. Tanaka san, mai nichi uchi de ban gohan no tabemasu ka? Hai. That is one answer which you have done. You can also say This also you have done which means no, I do not eat every day at home. Now there could be another answer using this simple word over here. It could be toki doki tabemasu. Hai tabemasu, ie tabemasen and then toki doki. A new word for you, toki doki meaning sometimes. Toki doki tabemasu. For example, mai nichi ega o mimasu ka? Toki doki mimasu. Hai mai nichi mimasu, ie mai nichi mimasen or toki doki mimasu. So, you have the practice over here. In place of Tanaka san, you can use any of these words given. In place of Uchi, which is a place, you could use Shokudo, cafeteria, restaurant, tomodachi no Uchi. And then in place of Tabemas, a verb, you can use Nomimas, Nemas, Mimas, any of these verbs, but remember the vocabulary has to be related. You cannot use something for tabemas, which is to be used for watching for mimas, for no mimas or for ikimas. So, please the vocabulary has to be connected. For example, sensei, mai nichi shokudo de gohan o tabemas ka? Iie toki doki tabemas. Taro kun, mai nichi cafeteria de kohi o nomimasu ka? Hai, mai nichi cafeteria de kohi o nomimasu. So, you can try practicing this with your partner at home, but please do it loudly. Now, we have been doing verbs in plain form. We have done dictionary form. We have done the past form, past plain form, we have done the negative form. Now, today we will do the negative past. We have done um, iku, itta, ika, nai. These are the three that we have done. Today we will do ikana katta.
ikana kata. Now, how do you make ikana kata? Simple, yomanai, nomanai, ikanai. Remove the i from here, yomana kata, nomana kata and ikana kata. That makes it past negative plane. So, it is very simple, it is not difficult at all. All you need to do is to get used to the sound. You can repeat after me now and we will practice right here. Ikimasen deshita. Ikanakatta. Kairimasen deshita. Kairanakatta. Aimasen deshita. Avanakatta. Kaimasen deshita. Kavanakatta. Migakimasen deshita. Migakanakatta. Hanashimasen deshita. Hanasanakatta. Kakimasen deshita. Kakanakatta. Kikimasen deshita. Kikanakatta. Arimasen deshita. And it is nakatta. So, please you will notice somewhere there is a w, somewhere there is an s only instead of s h i. So, well these are all exceptions and slowly you will understand how these exceptions are made. So, well we will do that. Now, you could you could do that at home and we will go ahead with our lesson. Listen to this radio dialogue and let us see how much you have understood. Kore wa omoshiroi shousetsu desu ka? So desu, omoshiroi desu yo. Doko de kaimashita ka? Kaimasen deshita, sensei ni itedakimashita. Itsu desu ka? Well, how was it? Did you understand? I am sure you did. Well, let us see. I will read it out once and then explain. Kore wa omoshiroi shousetsu desu ka? So desu, omoshiroi desu yo. Doko de kaimashita ka? Kaimasen deshita. Sensei ni itadakimashita. Itsu desu ka? Watashi no tanjoubi ni sensei ga watashi ni kono hon okuremashita. So, there are a few new things over here. Most of it you have done. There is a new word, kuremashita. That is what we are going to do today. We have done ageru morau, itadaku and sashi ageru. Now, we will do Kureru and kudasaru today. How it is to be done? How it is to be used? Well, we will see right away. This is in the script, you can see, and this is the translation. May not be literal translation because it may change the meaning. It is what you would say in English. Well, kudasaru and kureru. Now, you can read what is written over there, but A gives to B. A wa B ni ageru. A wa B kara morau. A wa B ni sashi ageru. A wa B ni itadaku. 
So you can see your position is very, very clear. Sashi Ageru and Itadaku are polite for Ageru and Morao. Now there is a new word over here, Kureru and Kudasaru. What happens with that? Let us see. That is exactly what is given. Ewa bini hono ageru, ewa bikara hon o morau, and then what do we have over here? We have biva, eni hon o kureru. So now what happens? In this, your position is here, b is over here, higher in rank, higher in older, age, rank, position everything much above you, higher and you are placed over here or a formal situation and when someone gives something to you over here, then it is kureru. Is that all right? Please remember, ewa bini ageru, ewa bini sashi ageru, ewa bikara morau, ewa Bikara itadaku. Now, over here A is the subject, over here B is your subject and B wa A ni kureru. B gives to A. That is the only difference over here. All along A has been the subject over here, B becomes the subject and we are talking about what B is giving A. So, please that is very important with kureru and kudasaru. Sensei wa watashi ni hon o kuremashita. Sensei gave a book to me. So, sensei is the subject over here and please you will see now what it is. This is what you have done so far and this is what we are going to do now. B over here, A over here. So, naturally B is a little higher, older in age, higher in rank, in position, could be your boss, could be your teacher, could be someone you have met for the first time and what is it? B gives something to A and it is kureru or kuda saru. B wa A ni kureru or kuda saru. B gives to A. So, please remember with kureru and kudasaru it is always someone senior, older is giving something to someone junior. Now, you, you can practice kureru and kudasaru. Look at the picture over here. There is this gentleman and a lady and he is giving something to her. So, let us see what it is. Tanaka san wa watashi ni presento o kure mashita from this lady's side he is giving something to her thus tanaka san wa watashi ni presento o kure mashita formal situation over here he is giving money so well tanaka san wa watashi ni okane o kure mashita he, he is giving money to me or gave money to me. What is there in the third picture? Well, we have Tanaka san again looking at his passport, probably is going out. So, well, let us see what it is. Oto san wa watashi ni hikoki no kippu wo kure mashita. Oto san is my father, oto san wa watashi ni hikoki is plane, no kippu is ticket o kure Ashita gave it to me. So, well, you can practice now. We just did kureru and kudasaru. You can practice it now with these words here. Otosan. Sensei, Okane, Jisho, Hon and of course you have
Kureru and Kodasaru here. So, you can make different combinations. For example, Otosan wa Watashi ni Hon o Kuremashita. So, obviously, you can see when someone gives something to you, you place yourself, your position where it is, it is lower and thus kureru and over here with kudasaru, it is humble, you are accepting something very, very humbly from someone who is senior to you or older in age position, rank and thus sensei wa watashi ni jisho o kuremashita. So, well you can use these over here, you can see oto san wa watashi ni toke o kuremashita and sensei wa watashi ni jibiki or jisho o kuremashita. So, well you can use kureru and kudasaru in this manner. Now, I am sure now you have understood all the six agemas, moraimas, itadakimas, sashi agemas, kuremas and kudasai mas. So, please try to practice it with your friends, with your partner and please whenever you are practicing do it loudly. Now, in one of our previous lessons, we did tai form verb plus tai means I want to do something whatever the verb is saying. Well, negative is taku nai, I do not want to do as the verb is saying. For example, watashi wa gyunyu o nomitaku nai, watashi wa wine o nomitaku nai, watashi wa keiki o tabetaku nai. So, well we will do takunai over here. There is a small conversation between Otosan, Okasan and Kodomo and let us see what they are saying. Nani o tabemashou ka? Watashi wa tempura o tabetai. Kino tabeta kara ima tabetaku nai. Nani o tabemasu ka? Spaghetti o tabetai. Ja, spaghetti o tabemashou. I am sure this is understood. Over here, tempura is a new word. Tempura is a Japanese dish, a very popular dish in Japan. And generally, foreigners love this dish very much. So, well, nani o tabemashou ka? What shall we have? Watashi wa tempura o tabetai. I want to have. Tempura is what the mother says. Kino tabeta kara ima tabeta kunai. So the kodomo is saying, child is saying, I had it yesterday, so I do not want to have it now. Nani o tabemasu ka? Spaghetti o tabetai. Ja, spaghetti o tabemashou. So let us all have spaghetti. So you can replace. Tabemas with any other verb that you want. It could be a different situation completely. You could replace it with nomimas and then have the conversation. Over here, you could replace tempura with pizza, you could say soba, indoriori, burger, or baga as it is said in Japanese, udon or pasta. Soba and udon are two Japanese dishes where soba is thin noodles and udon is very, very thick noodles in clear soup. And then you can have this conversation, practice it with your partner. It is a simple conversation, easy to do and learn.
Now, we have some pictures for you over here and let us see what the pictures are all about. You can see someone on the phone and you have to practice taku nai that is I do not want to do whatever the verb is saying. So well then wa oshitaku nai. Now what is this person doing over here? Playing. So, asobitaku nai. Asobitaku nai. Then we have these two people talking. Hanashitaku nai. Or it could also be hanashi tai. Depending on what you want to say. Gentleman is relaxing over here. So, what is the verb? Can you tell me the verb? Well, it is yasumitai or yasumitaku nai. I do not want to relax or I want to take off or relax or take a break. Then someone is just about to have tea. Well, Kohi o nomitai or nomitaku nai. And then we have someone just about to start eating. So, well, what is the verb for eating? Tabetai, tabemas, and gohan o tabetai or tabetaku nai, whichever way you want to. Take. So, you can practice like this all other verbs with or without pictures. You can practice saying whatever the verb in Thai form and in Takunai form with your partner. You could ask asobitai desu ka? Iie ima asobitaku nai or ima isogashi kara asobitaku nai. Now, I have been doing katakana with you. We have been practicing katakana, how to write katakana. We will do that again. Some we have done, some we have to do. Let us see what we have here today. Well, we have the ka series here and you can see how it is written, how slanting it is, where to put your pen first and how to make the stroke, how angular it is, ka and you can see, well then we have ki, the first one is small, the second one is a little longer and then it is straight, ki, ku and remember it does not touch like this, it is just halfway ku and then we have k and the stroke order is important. So, please do not forget the stroke order. Remember the stroke order k and then we have a simple ko after that. So, ko is 1 and 2 and not 1 and 2 like this. Please remember that is also important for all kanji characters also. This stroke is 1. So, now you can see it is right here in front all the stroke order is given properly. Now, as we always do after our syllables, practice of syllables of katakana and hiragana, we do kanji characters. So, well let us see what we have here today. We have kau which is to buy. Kau is a simple character. We have done i if you remember like this. So, well turn it one. 2, 3, 4 and 
phi, then we have another i over here 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and then we have 2 lines over here in the end which makes it cow. So, let us see how many strokes to it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then we have 11 and 12. So, we have 12 strokes to this character which is cow and you can see it is 12 strokes over here. How it has come into being we will do once we are through with this kanji section. Let us see what is the next one it is takai or ko. Well, there are more readings to this character kau, but we will only do one reading over here for the time being to buy which is kau. The second character that we have over here is takai. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So, this is a 10 stroke character you can see over here takai. As you can see it is 10 strokes I will write it once again for you once again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. It is a 10 stroke character meaning takai meaning high meaning expensive. Now, how is how have these characters come into being is you can see from here when you go shopping you have a small bag in hand generally and you have fish in it. So, well all the net over here all this over here all this over here is from the bag which has a net and you can see a fish in it that is how kai mas has come into being and you can see the stroke order over here how it is to be made. Then we have takai and you can see from the house here how takai has come into being well in olden times generally huts were there and anybody having a room on top of the house would be a considered a big house. So, well that is how takai came into being a double storied house was considered very very big large in ancient times. So, that is how takai height or expensive came into being the stroke order is given over here you can practice it at home. Now, I have been doing festivals of Japan with you important festivals interesting festivals and today also I have something very interesting this festival is a community festival is a social festival it has lot of importance and it is practiced by young and old since ancient times and is still practiced here in Japan even now. So, well what is the festival let us see bean throwing festival or setsubun. So, you can repeat it after me it is setsubun or the bean throwing festival of course, you will know why it is called the bean throwing festival. Setsubun is actually change of season. Setsubun marks the 
marks the change, marks the period or time when the season changes from maybe winter to, to spring or spring to summer or summer to winter again or autumn and then autumn to winter. So, in ancient times, this Setsubun was celebrated four times in a year, but now it has somehow gotten associated with springtime only and it is celebrated only in springtime. Why I have taken up Setsubun is because we did Shogatsu last time which is in January, which is the 1st of January and now Setsubun which is springtime or just a day before spring is in February, it is celebrated in February, generally falling now on the 3rd or the 4th of February. So, you can read a lot of things over here, lot of things are written. It is also called Mamemaki and on this day roasted soya bean is thrown outside of the house uh, and something is chanted. The words that are chanted are Oni wa soto and Fuku wa uchi. This is chanted all the time and you just take soya beans, roasted soya beans in a bowl and you throw it outside of your house. Now, oni means a demon or evil and soto means outside, fuku means good fortune and uchi means house as you have already done. So, oni wa soto means to get rid of all the evil, all the negativity, all the negative feelings, negativity of the house, all uh, ill fortune from the house and throw it outside and get all good fortune, all positivity in the house. Fuku means positivity, Fuku means good fortune. So, all is given over here, everything is listed and this was actually celebrated by all in ancient times and the master of the house, the lord of the house would actually on Setsubun day try to, on Setsubun day would take some mame go to the shrine, pray to the gods and then come and throw these mame, come and throw these soya beans out of the house and it would be a feeling of happiness. Why? Because after a harsh winter, people would be meeting each other, people would be celebrating, they would be enjoying all the food once again, the sunshine once again and there would be general festivity and gaiety around. So, well that is exactly what was done at that time and one interesting thing that was custom that was followed or practice that was done was it was believed that oni or the demons do not like sardines because it smells a lot and thus sardine heads were roasted sardine heads were placed outside of the house to ward off evil, to keep evil away, to keep ill fortune away from the house and to, to welcome positivity, to welcome good fortune in the house. So, this is how it was placed, it was kept in Japan, it was decorated like this to ward off evil basically. All diseases from the house would be removed by doing this. The houses were cleaned at that time and generally it is as we can understand generally change of season brings diseases, brings problems. So, at that time to keep your house clean, to clean up, to, to do all kinds of things like this would be actually very good for the people of the house. Now, during 
during uh, Setsubun or on that day, generally fortune beans as these beans are called, ehomaki are these uh, rolls are made, these beans are roasted, they are eaten and they are enjoyed by all and especially these sardines are, these fish are eaten and enjoyed by the family. And of course, as you can see fortune beans as they are called bring good luck. It is customary to eat roasted soya beans for each year of one's life and one for good luck and eating sushi rolls is also a big big custom on Setsubun day. Now, important part over here is that these rolls, these rice rolls or sushi as they are called are eaten that day sitting in the direction of the god of fortune and happiness. You face the direction where the god of happiness and fortune is and you eat these rolls thinking that good fortune will come to you. Children throw roasted soya beans like this at each other and try to sort of play and enjoy chanting all the time fortune in and evil out. And of course, what the children do is that one person in the family could be wearing a, a demon's mask or an evil mask and all the others would be running around the house throwing beans at him and sort of playing in this manner. So, it is basically a community feeling of enjoyment, of gaiety, of being together, just enjoy being together and that happiness is what is shown over here in this picture. Well, we have been talking about oni all the time and that oni is bad and evil and negative and all the time very grumpy. So, well there is a small kotowaza or a proverb or a saying in Japan and of course, we all know that saying that appearances can be deceptive and even stern looking people, very mean looking people, bad people also have a kind spot in their heart. They can also be very, very kind. So, the saying is oni no me ni mo namida ga aru. Namida is tears. So, oni no me, me means eyes, ni namida ga aru. Even onis can cry, even demons can cry, even demons have a good good spot somewhere in their heart. They can, they can be nice once in a while. So, generally appearances can be deceptive. It is not necessary that all the time people who are looking very mean or looking very stern or angry are all the time very, very mean or negative. So, well this was one, one uh, saying for the oni. We have been talking about oni so much. So, well that is what it is. And in the end, we have Shukudai for you. My work is over. I have taught you whatever we were supposed to do in this lesson. Now, it is your time to practice what has been taught. So, there is Shukudai for you. There is work for you. Circle the correct spellings. Then we have look at these pictures and ask price using kore, kono, koko, dare, ikura, which we have done in our previous lessons. List the price, ask your friends, do small kaiva. And then we have these kanji characters over here, some pictures for you, just match kanji characters with the pictures given. And then the words are given over here, you have to see and tick the correct reading given. Well, let us see what else do we have. Make proper questions to fit the answers given below. So, you have to read the small kaiva and 
read the answer and then write the question word over here. And fill in the blanks with appropriate verbs or verb forms. Now, we have pictures for you over here. A couple of pictures are given. Look at the pictures carefully and then it is a listening comprehension. So, please listen to what is being said and then answer the questions. So, well, let us see what it is. Kore wa dango desu. Kore mo dango desu. Dango wa nihon no yume na tabemono desu. Kodomo tachi mo otona mo dango ga daisuki desu. Dango wa amakute oishi tabemono desu. Nihon ni iro iro na dango ga arimasu. Tatoeba amai dango, kuri no dango, yuki dango, hanami dango, goma dango. Hanami dango wa hanami no toki ni tsukurimasu. Watashi wa kino gakko no shokudo de tomodachi to issho ni oishi dango o tabemashita. Oishikatta kara watashi tachi wa ashita mo dango o tabemasu. So well, this is a small listening comprehension. So please listen to it carefully and then answer the questions given over here. The new words used in the comprehension listening passage are listed over here with the meanings which will help you answer these questions and whatever you are not able to answer find difficult we will do it in our next lesson. So well now you can practice at home and till our next lesson. Thank you very much. Arigatou gozaimasu. Minasan mata aimashou.